Hello, welcome to my video today. Today I'm going to go over um, just an email or a resume parser. I may have just found a tutorial, like a tutorial blog um, post. My buddy uh, had, had an assignment from a company to make a CV, a resume um, parser. So we're talking about it. So I was like, oh, let's nice. see if I can give it a try. But it's pretty simple, but I mean, it works. So maybe he can figure out uh, to do it too, and he can hopefully get that job. But so uh, use some libraries. This one is to find names. It helps it, uh, the program find names out of the file. Um, and there's a few ways you can you can get out of docx file. Or PDF, but I always just send my resume in with a PDF, so I just made it uh, consistently out of PDF. So here, PDF, and this is the name. So you, I don't really know what's going on here, but it's using this NLTK uh, library, and and it seems to find it. And then And then uh, phone number, yeah, same sort of stuff. Email address. Yeah, I don't really know what all this does, but whatever. And this is the skills one. So there's a couple ones that you can do, like an API, but I didn't want to apply for the key and stuff. So I just had this one where you can make a little database and add stuff in. So I just, this, most of this was already there, and then I added what was on my resume, so I'd pick it up. Um, and then this is for skills, and then the education one. So it has it uses these keywords and then reverses them or something, and then so it has university. So my it just my uni, the university my undergrad comes up. But my master's program, the Institute, the Institute of Technology, doesn't come up. So I could work on that institute right here. Um, so the names, here's the names. And I can put in any of these indexes, and it'll come up with tons of uh, content that's in the resume. So it's the first one, my first name, and this is my second name, or last name. And, but if you change these to random indexes, it'll have random stuff. I'm not sure how good it works, it works and just realizing your, your name is the first of the document, I guess. Let's give it a tree. So it uses this NLTK data. So RIZ, my email. I didn't put my number in it, but, and then the skills, um, and then education university. So it would be nice if it said education university and institute. Um, if I had, uh, maybe there's, I can, let's try this.
Doesn't seem to work. I thought it might work like the names here. If it finds, you know, in university, the first one that stops, but yeah, I mean, I'll work on this a bit later, but let's turn this off. And so, got it working again, anyways. Anyways, it's a quick little email parser. Just found a, a blog tutorial type thing online. Anyways, that's all for today.